Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Slide Master and Slide Design in LibreOffice Impress. In this tutorial, we will learn how to apply backgrounds for slides, layouts for slides. Here we are using Ubuntu Linux 10.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. Background refers to all the colors and effects applied to the slide which are present behind the content. LibreOffice Impress has many background options that help you create better presentations. You can even create your own custom backgrounds. Let's open the presentation sampleimpress.odp. Let's create a custom background for our presentation. We shall also apply this background to all the slides in the presentation. We shall use the Slide Master option to create this background. Any change made to the master slide is applied to all the slides in the presentation. From the main menu, click View, select Master and click on Slide Master. The master slide appears. Notice that the Master View toolbar is also visible. You can use this to create, delete and rename master pages. Notice that the two slides are displayed now. These are two master pages that have been used in this presentation. From the Tasks pane, click on Master Pages. The Used in this presentation field displays the master slides used in this presentation. The master slide is like a template. You can set formatting preferences here, which are then applied to all the slides in the presentation. First, from the Slides pane, let's select Slide 1. Let's apply a white background to this presentation. From the main menu, click on Format and click Page. The Page Setup dialog box appears. Click the Background tab. From the Fill drop-down menu, Select the option Bitmap. From the list of options, select Blank and click OK. The slide now has a white background. Notice that the existing color doesn't show up very well against the background. Always choose a color that is visible distinctly against its background. Let's change the color of the text to black. This will make the text clearly visible against the white background. First, select the text. From the main menu, click Format and select Character. The Character dialog box appears. From the Character dialog box, click Font Effects tab. From the Font Color drop-down, select Black. Click OK. The text is now black in color. Now let's apply a color to the slide. Right click on the slide for the context menu and click Slide and Page Setup. From the Fill drop down menu, select the option Color. Select Blue 8 and click OK. Notice that the light blue color we selected is applied to the slide. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. Create a new master slide and apply the color red as the background. Let's now learn how to add another design element to this presentation. For example, you can add a logo to your presentation. Look at the basic shapes toolbar in the bottom of your screen. You can use it to draw a variety of basic shapes such as circles, squares, rectangles, triangles and ovals. Let's draw a rectangle in the title area of the slide. From the Basic Shapes toolbar, click on Rectangle. Now, move the cursor to the top left corner of the slide in the title area. You will see a plus sign with a capital I. Hold the left mouse button and drag to draw a small rectangle. Now, release the mouse button. You have drawn a rectangle. Notice the eight handles on the rectangle. Handles or control points are the small blue squares that appear on the sides of the selected object. 
we can use these control points to adjust the size of the rectangle. As you hover your cursor over the control point, the cursor changes to a double-sided arrow. This indicates the direction in which the control point can be moved to manipulate the basic shape. Let's enlarge this rectangle so that it covers the title area completely. We can format these shapes too. Right-click on the rectangle to view the context menu. Here, you can choose various options to modify the rectangle. Click on Area. The Area dialog box appears. In the Fill field from the drop-down menu, choose Color. Choose Magenta 4 and click OK. The color of the rectangle has changed. The rectangle has now covered the text. To make the text visible, first select the rectangle. Now, right-click to open the context menu. Click on Arrange and then Send to Back. The text is visible again. Here the rectangle is moved behind the text. In the Tasks pane, click on the preview of the master page. Right-click and select Apply to all slides. Close the Master View by clicking on the Close Master View button. The formatting changes made in the Master are applied to all the slides in the presentation now. Notice that the rectangle is also displayed in all the pages. Let us learn to change the layout of the slide. What are layouts? Layouts are slide templates that are pre-formatted for position of content with placeholders. To view the slide layouts from the right panel, click Layouts. The layouts available in Impress are displayed. Look at the layout thumbnails. It gives you an idea of how the slide will appear after the layout has been applied. There are layouts with the titles and two column formats, layouts where you can position text in three columns and so on. There are also blank layouts. You can apply a blank layout to your slide and then create your own layouts. Let's apply a layout to a slide. Select the slide Potential Alternatives and delete all text. Now, from the Layout pane on the right-hand side, select Title to Content over Content. The slide now has three text boxes and a title area. Notice that the rectangle we inserted using the master page is still visible. This rectangle can only be edited using the master slide. The settings in the master slide overrides any formatting changes or layouts applied to slides. Let's enter content in these boxes now. In the first text box, Type Strategy 1 Pro colon Low Cost Con colon Slow Action. In the second text box, type Strategy 2 Con colon High Cost Pro colon Fast Action. In the third text box, type Due to Lack of Funds, comma Strategy 1 is Better. You can similarly choose the layout type that is most suited to your presentation. This concludes this tutorial. In this tutorial, we learned how to apply backgrounds for slides, layouts for slides. Here is an assignment for you. Create a new master slide. Create a new background. Change the layout to title content over content. Check what happens when you apply a layout to a master slide. Insert a new slide and apply a blank layout. Use text boxes and add columns to it. Format these text boxes. Enter text in these boxes. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. 
For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT NHRT Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Desi Crew Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.